avoiding dash disasters and hyphen hiccups. Hello, language learners. Today, we'll dive deep into an exciting part of English grammar that often leaves people puzzled, dashes and hyphen usage. Our focus will be on common errors and misconceptions regarding these little yet important punctuation marks. So, let's get started and clear up the confusion. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that dashes and hyphens are not interchangeable. They may look similar, but their functions in a sentence are distinct. A hyphen connects words and parts of words. They're used in compound words, such as mother-in-law, and to break a word at the end of a line. A dash, on the other hand, indicates a range or separates parts of a sentence. There are two types of dashes, the N dash and the M dash. The N dash is typically used to indicate a range, e.g., 2001 to 2005, while the M dash can replace commas, semicolons, colons, and parentheses to indicate added emphasis, an interruption, or an abrupt change of thought. Moving on, let's discuss some typical hyphen misuses. 1. Incorrect compound words. Not all compound words need a hyphen. For example, we write high school, not high school, unless it's being used as an adjective like in high school student. 2. Hyphen overuse in compound adjectives. When two or more words come together to form an adjective before a noun, we usually use a hyphen. But, if the adjectives come after the noun, no hyphen is needed. It's a well-known actor, but the actor is well-known. 3. Hyphens with adverbs ending in li. When an adverb ending in li and an adjective come together to modify a noun, we don't use a hyphen. It's a poorly written book, not a poorly written book. Now, Let's look at some common errors related to dashes. 1. Spacing around M dashes. M dashes can be used with or without spaces around them. However, ensure you're consistent in your usage. 2. Overusing dashes. While M dashes can replace other punctuation, using too many can make your writing confusing and hard to follow. Use them sparingly for emphasis. 3. Confusing N and M dashes. Remember, N dashes are typically used for ranges, e.g., 1 to 10, while M dashes are used for additional information or emphasis within a sentence. And there we have it. We've cleared up some common confusions and errors related to dashes and hyphens. Always remember, they might look similar, but they serve different functions. Consistency is key in their usage. I hope this video has been helpful. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing your English writing and proofread for these common punctuation errors. Happy learning!